I'm back. Uh, I've got a couple of Gatorade flavors that I want to present to you guys. And uh, this will be the first video of uh, the definitive Gatorade tier list. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try uh, one Gatorade flavor per video. And I'm going to rate it in a tier list. So uh, some of you may have noticed that uh, the background's a little bit different. Yeah, I, uh, I graduated college and I, uh, I got a job, so I moved closer to there. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty content with everything. I'm, I'm uh, fairly happy with my life. But uh, I'm glad that you guys were putting up with my lack of videos, my lack of uploading. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to you guys because uh, you're my loyal followers, and uh, <laughs> honestly, I, I love you guys. I love you guys. I, uh, I haven't been drinking Gatorade as much lately. Um, I've, been, I've been really, really on vanilla Coke for some reason. I really like vanilla Coke, which is horrible for you. It's a horrible way to get diabetes. But basically, uh, today I was at the grocery store, and I walked past the vanilla Coke, and I'm just like, not today. No. I'm bigger than this. <laughs> I'm better than this. <laughs> Which is a stupid thing to think about vanilla Coke, but <laughs> maybe that's just how, how I am. And, uh, <laughs> so I end up walking past a couple Gatorades. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm looking at them, and I'm starting to think about my channel, <laughs> my neglected Gatorade rating channel. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? As a college kid, I really couldn't afford to buy every single Gatorade on this shelf right now. So basically, I bought one of every flavor at the grocery store. <laughs> the cashier looks at me like, like, what are you doing with your life? Like, you look like an absolute fool. I'm going to have to scan all of these. Like, you're an idiot. And uh, I'm just like, I actually looked at her in the eyes. I'm like, I'm like, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm causing you trouble. But like, Gatorade's rebooted. So <laughs> let's, uh, I'm going to start with a recommendation that I'm a little bit late on. But uh, it's Cool Blue. It's a classic. And, uh... Let's just hop right in. I, I really haven't had a cool blue Gatorade in a very long time. And honestly, that that was incredibly thirst quenching. I I just got done eating some tacos and I'm part. I was <laughs> I needed a drink this uh, this is the first sip you can see I've, I've almost I've almost drank like basically a fourth of it in in one sip basically this is incredible so let, let me just get let me just get another taste real quick it starts out it feels really smooth it's it's super smooth going down and then it tastes pretty sugary but in a good way the flavor is uh the flavor is really unique because it starts out really sweet on the tongue and it ends kind of sour, but I can't really pinpoint the exact type of sour. It's, it's, it's definitely not a one dimensional flavor. This, this is not only quenching my thirst, which is promised on the label right here. We got, we got thirst quencher, right? You see that thirst quencher thirst, consider it quenched, right? But on top of the thirst quenching ability, the actual flavor of this, it's got to be near the top of the pack. It's a pretty great Gatorade flavor when you really think about it. It's, it has withstood the test of time, right? This Gatorade flavor, I'm pretty sure it's been around for, for, I don't even know how I could Google it. I bet you it's been around at least 20 years now. Cause I, I can swear it's been around my entire life. Um, and it's, it's really, it's really superb, highly recommended. I probably have had more Gatorade than all of you combined in your life, 
and I definitely have better taste buds than all of you. In reality, I mean, we know it's far above. We know it's far above flavors like rainberry. God awful. But in terms of uh, it beating something like strawberry watermelon, I don't know. So it's in terms of a number rating. In terms of a number rating, you know, we'll figure out the tier list by the end of the video, but in terms of a number rating, this is sitting at a, this is sitting at an 8 out of 10, tied with Strawberry Watermelon, which I consider a top tier. I consider it basically like a tier A, a tier B flavor. If Cool Blue is going to, Cool Blue, not only is it a good flavor in the contemporary sense, right? When we're talking about modern flavors, you're working with a lot of you're working with a lot of competitors, right? It is an old school flavor and it really has withstood the test of time. And honestly, you ha you have to respect it. If you don't respect Cool Blue, then I don't know what you're doing in the Gatorade world. You probably don't drink Gatorade. You probably don't know anything about Gatorade and uh your taste buds are probably uh probably dead you probably have some dead taste buds but uh so in terms of a tier list let me let me get a notepad here or something yeah why don't you start with what you what you know with what i know exactly let's start with what we know so what we know what we know for sure is that rainberry is garbage and will be at the bottom of the tier. No, if you're going to be drinking any Gatorade, you should never be drinking a C or a D Gatorade. And honestly, I really think that we should have a tier F because that is truly where some flavors belong. They belong in the complete failure category. And that's basically in which rainberry belongs. Basically a failing flavor. It, as I described in my video, it essentially tastes like factory runoff. Rainberry is a tier F Gatorade. When people say they want the blue Gatorade, they're always talking about Glacier Freeze. They want the light blue Gatorade. You get the light blue Gatorade. You're not going to get them cool blue. But here's the thing. True. People who like cool blue, they're, they're brain geniuses. They're very smart. Cool blue is a lot like fine wine. It's a lot like fine wine. Just gets better with age. So that marks the last drop of cool blue to be honest cool blue as great as it was really was it really was simply above average it was not it was not spectacular it did not blow my mind right i didn't i didn't have an epiphany right and if the gatorade flavor isn't giving you an epiphany then why are you spending your money on it why are you drinking it we're gonna put cool blue in the b tier for now um it's subject to change but as of right now, because, for instance, if the S tier and the A tier end up having not very many members, right? If we only have one A tier, that seems weird, right? You want to have at least a couple in the A tier. So in terms of lime cucumber, we're definitely going to put that in an A tier. Um, maybe not S tier, but definitely in the A tier for now. So just going through my list of videos, Gatorade Organic. Oh man, that is a solid D tier. So we're working with a pretty uh, straightforward tier list. I, I accidentally put strawberry lemonade in the A tier by accident. So we just crossed that out. And as you can see, I just want to really highlight the F tier. Absolutely garbage flavor. If you see Rainberry in the grocery store, take it to a store associate and say, uh, I didn't realize it was legal to sell poison. So that really marks the end of the review. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this, and you guys should definitely expect some more content from me soon. So yeah, uh, have a good one, guys.